today is January the 25th and I heard a knock on the door and uh, when I opened the door this gentleman came and had a lovely note for me actually not for me but for how did you know him uh, Freddy? Uh, he came to Kitty and Terry a couple times. How, what would you call him? Freddy. Freddy? Yeah. That's, uh, how, what, how did he, what did you call my uncle? Hasim. Hasim? Yeah. Perfect. So hi Freddy. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you and uh, how do you know my uncle? Well, he used to come over, can you go to the store for me? I don't feel well, so I'll go get him pop, I get him bread. And then we go out on the bicycles, go bicycle riding and stuff, come back. And he called me every couple of days, go to the store, come talk, we joke around and stuff. Yeah, we're That's always buddies, three, four days a week, come over and talk to me and get himself outside. And we walk to the store and I'd go to the store a couple of days a week for him, get him bread, pop. Did you guys go fishing at all? No fishing, just bicycle riding. <laughs> you know, you still love fishing. Yeah, he told me, yeah. Yeah. And we watched a lot of movies and stuff. I noticed he seems to yeah. have been an avid movie watcher. Yeah, yeah. How, how did you guys fix the do that? You do it on T on the internet? Oh, he, or? He, no, he, he knocked my door. Do you want to come over and go to the store for me? And I go to the store for him. Or he'd phone me, go to the store for him. And we sit and joke around and watch movies. So how did you watch the movies on TV or on the internet? He had a computer or something here. Yes, he did have and a he computer had one over here. Yeah. Right. So you guys would go on the internet and watch movies together. Yeah. What type of movies did you guys enjoy watching? Uh, His family sort of asking, you know, what kind of music did he enjoy? What kind of that. movies? Oh, good music and that. Rock yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Like rock. Yeah. He Any that. jazz? Yeah. yeah. Bossa yeah. Nova. Bossa Nova. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. No, he was good. Yeah. 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 And we're buddies. Yeah. Well, thank you, Freddie. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, and a lot of times he was second bed, pull me up, can you come go to the store? I go to the store for him, you're okay. And then we'd push each other, joke around, and I'd sit and watch the movie with him and that. Why was he stuck in bed? Um, he said he had to take so many medications and stuff, he didn't feel well, and I'd go to the drugstore for him, he didn't feel too good and stuff, eh? So I got him outside more. Let's go for walks, let's go for bike rides. And he was felt good then. And then Christmas, he goes, Freddie, I want to come over because I do security here. The Golden Age Club. Right. And serve food and everything. So I'll come over to eat and that. He was happy to come over to get out. He goes, I'm coming over to have Christmas dinner with you. Right. Then I didn't hear from him for three days. Yes. So I got upset and pounded at the door, phone nobody. The New Year's, yes. he was going to come for dinner. He didn't show up. So I right. started getting worried. And so what happened? What did you discover? Well, I asked anybody in the office. Nobody told me nothing. Yeah. Then Papa John, he's 95 years old. He goes, your best buddy passed away. That was New Year's Eve? In and around there. I couldn't reach him for 8 or 10 days and he was going to come for Christmas dinner with me and New Year's because I got free for him and he he's not coming out, what's going on? I found the door, boom, boom and then the phone changed like somebody answered so I figured maybe he went to the hospital mm -hmm. so I'll give it a couple of weeks right. and three weeks I couldn't reach him, nobody tell me nothing right. and then Papa John goes, your best buddy passed away so I went to church Sunday and prayed for him and everything Oh, thank you very yeah. much sir, thank oh, you very much Oh, he was my much. best friend, we got along good I'm very happy yeah, to hear that. Really good. Yeah. Did he do any uh, carpets? Did he like uh, sew any carpets, Persian rugs, and all that? Did he talk no, to you? No, but he kept us playing all the time. And you want something to eat and all that? He was always good to me. I was good to him. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. He walked around and he just he start before Christmas, a couple weeks, like wanting to sleep all the time. Yes. So go to the store for you, please. I don't feel good. And he was right. I go get up and talk to me. He get up and we push each other. Or sit down, watch a movie. Right? We joke. He like push me because I used to box. Eh? He oh, like pecking on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. He goes, I know this, and he's kicking me out. Yeah, we joked around. Yeah. <laughs> so you found that he was uh, became the medication he was taking was causing him to be sleepy and all that. Yeah, he was too many. He was very him doing that. Okay, so, well. Good. Well, Freddy, thank you very much for your kind note. So your message says, hello, Hasim, from yeah, I kept Freddy. asking, yeah. And I heard you were here. Yes. And the office said, knock on his door. I go, he's my best friend. I'm like, hey. Yes. I and I gave him a heck in the office. They said, okay, his son might be there. So I came. Yes. Well, thank you yeah. very much. I sincerely appreciate this note. And I'm going to let my sisters get the message as well. Yeah, so, yeah. Because he has a daughter in Australia and he has a daughter in South yeah, Africa. Yeah, he told me everything, yeah. Yeah. What did he tell you about the daughters? He didn't say too much. He said, I have a son, this and that, and all this, but he didn't say too much about his family. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, you know, they were so far away, so they're a little too cut up by the fact that their entire family, all the nephews, he has a very big family, all the nephews and nieces and his brothers and sisters, yeah. very concerned about him. Yeah. So, you you speaking to me like this really helps and makes him feel a whole lot better. Me too, I have a big family. 13 brothers, 5 sisters. Yeah. I'm the baby. Wow. <laughs> I'm Italian, my family. Oh, they're yeah? all dark skin like you and beautiful. Oh, yeah? I'm yeah? the only Irish one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well... Thank you. I'm so sorry, yeah. Freddie. I didn't know who to tell in the building, yeah. but uh, I certainly appreciate it. And in fact, what we're going to do now that you're here, I'd like you to please take a look around and I'll show you what's here so you, you can uh, have first pick at a few things because there are some items that, the, that I don't have to give to the daughters and they'd be happy if he's close friends like you and if you know Papa Joe or anybody else who wants to... Is Papa Joe? John. What's, what, uh, so what did you call him, Papa Joe? John. He's you 95 going on 96. 95. Your guess is pretty... I want to get rid of this TV, help me move it. I helped him move his old TV and he got another TV and stuff. But he'd always come and see me. Right. Yeah, we were buddies like fuck, four days a week, sort of language. That's fine. Hey, yeah. if, if you had to give a message to his children, what would that be? Yeah. To his children, what would you say about their father? Your father was a terrific man. We joked around. We used to push each other, bitch at each other, watch movies. He'd come over and stuff. And we'd go bicycle riding. Yes, very glad to be my pal. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.